Welcome back to my channel and for the first anime movie review uh, here in my channel. This is going to be on one that is really, really nice. The Garden of Words. Go check it out. Here we go. This is one that you guys can find at reasonable pricing, to be honest. You guys can find it on Sentai.com. Uh, or write stuff. There is a link down there below you guys can use to buy this for a very cheap price. Again, this is my first um, official anime movie review. Um, I've done movie reviews before for animes, um, but I've never actually done a series on it. So I'm going to try to do a series and post them on Thursday evenings, um, which was my random day kind of um, day where I posted stuff. But I, I, I'm going to be hoping to have more movies. I do have some of that I've already watched and will be reviewing for you guys. Um, this one itself, I, I, I have the actual copy of it. I haven't opened it, uh, but I actually watched it yesterday on uh, Netflix. So if you're looking for it, Netflix is the place where you guys can find this movie. Um before I continue a few things, I'm trying to reach 3,300, and I'm almost there. I'm like seven people away, and uh, if you could nicely just subscribe if you haven't done so and you're watching my videos, might as well do so. Uh, there's also a Discord open, and it has been growing lately, so make sure you join if you haven't joined. Uh, we will welcome you with open arms there. Uh, it's, it's amazing how... Um, great the the discord has stayed um and you know peaceful i guess so make sure you consider joining uh also guys there is other reviews that i have not just movie reviews but anime reviews as well as manga reviews so go check those out as well on my channel and then lastly there is a spoiler alert because i will talk about this movie in detail so i don't want you guys to uh have the movie ruined if you guys don't want the movie to be ruined okay um, I, I will still warn you on, I guess, big twists of the movie. The movie itself is not that long. Uh, here in the back says 46 minutes long. It's a very short movie. Um, most movies nowadays will be about an hour and a half. Some will be two or two and a half. This one itself was just 46 minutes. Uh, that's equivalent to maybe two episodes of, of, a, of an anime, uh, which is pretty much short. Um, when I watched it, I didn't actually pay attention to the time, and I did feel like it went pretty fast. Uh, but I didn't even think about it. I didn't even, you know, thought, man, that was real fast. I just, I just assumed that it, it was going fast because it was so good. Um, the one thing that I love about the series, before I even talk about the story, is the animation. The animation is great, and in fact, I, um, as a fellow tiktoker is that makes is that something i can say uh, i'm not really big but i watch a lot of tiktok um i i would see a lot of actually scenes from this movie in tiktok and i, and I always wonder like where is those scenes from i've never seen those scenes before they're really good um well it's from this movie you know uh, and, and if you don't know what i'm talking about it's the scenes where like they'll cut tomato and stuff like that and the it's very asmr type style uh, that's is what what they do in this movie for many of the scenes they don't even talk and they just kind of through music and through the just sound effects of stuff they show you the story moving on little by little and in that in just itself is unique and did a great job on it i i really did my, myself enjoyed that part of the movie now, uh, the whole the whole story it follows a high school or sorry not high school a college student um, Tako I believe is his name Tako is in college I believe he is um, second year or first year he's pretty young and it seems like every day it rains he decides to skip class and he has this kind of hidden dream uh, to become a shoe designer. And he goes to this garden, and in this garden, there's like a little um, place where he can go and sit. And inside that place, he just draws, draws away. Well, one day, he noticed that there is a lady there. Um, the lady is Yukino, and Yukino sits there. And for the most part, the first few days, she just drinks. And they eventually start talking to each other and grow a relationship with each other. Uh, she is definitely 
hiding or not hiding but not sharing everything because there's something about her and and in and, and his thoughts is i really don't want to see her this way you know she even though i don't know her she's drinking she is uh throwing her life away right so um we see his perspective for the most part um he himself is a unique person i guess you can say um because even though he is in college he doesn't want to be there he wants to move on and he 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 decides to build shoes and these shoes are going to be for this lady um and the, the reason he decides making them for her is because he really wants her to um, feel motivation to get up and go. That's essentially, in a nutshell, what he says. Now, very much what he says in his thoughts, are it's very poetic. It's very beautiful. Um, I, I watched it dubbed, and then I went back subbed, and I watched it subbed, and both are very beautiful. I, I would say I would say the dubbed is pretty decent. Um, so it, 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 was, it was very, very nice to just see his thoughts about the stranger, the stranger in the garden. Now, it becomes, uh, I believe, it, it becomes summer, and then fall, and then winter, and it doesn't rain. And again, he only goes there when it rains. So she would worry, like, well, not worry, but wonder why, why only rain, right? Why does he come only in the rain? And so she, she would still show up, hoping to see him. Uh, they start growing closer to each other, in a, I guess, romantic way. And you can tell as a viewer, but they themselves can't tell. Um, she eventually, and this is a spoiler alert, because I will. I, I will say a big spoil, but she eventually we eventually see uh, some of her story. And essentially, she broke up with her boyfriend. Um, and it seemed like a, a big relationship breakup, like it had been for years. And and then we see that she actually used to work where Taco goes to school for college. And inside that college, essentially, girls made up a rumor about her uh, and some boys in college because the girls were jealous. She was very pretty, and they didn't want their boyfriends to be gagaing over her. So they made rumors up, and she basically uh, got ridiculed in the school so much that she left the school. And it kind of seems like that's the reason why she broke up with her boyfriend, or her boyfriend broke up with her. So she was still attached to an old relationship. She was still attached to a job that she doesn't really want to be in, and you know it's it's it. There's a lot of things to her that I didn't expect to see, uh, and she was hurting. She was very much hurting, but at the end of the movie, she's not. And after this huge storm, she invites Taco to her apartment so that he can dry off, and uh, as she's as she's cooking something to eat she confesses to him again spoiler alert that she's gonna move out she's gonna move out she's gonna move back to her old town um and she finally has a reason to live i guess to move on and he freaks out because he then confesses that he loves her and she just kind of says sorry i can't do anything about it so he runs out of the building and it it in like maybe half a minute we see without any words we see how she realizes that she messed up she messed up big time so she runs to him and it's it's a, it's a beautiful scene and she finally is able to open up to him and say how much of a help he has been in her life how much of a person he has been uh close to to her even though they're strangers uh, and that, yeah, she she kind of likes him too. She kind of still has feelings for him. She finally confesses that she does have feelings. But um, in all, when it when the movie ends, they both kind of went their separate ways. Now he does end with the poem saying that he eventually is going to cross paths with her again. But they she ends up still in her small town, and he ends up going to college and finishing some stuff and essentially doing his own his own uh, life and 
Uh, it, it was a little bit confusing, like, what the heck, weren't you guys going to end up together? And then they didn't. So, <laughs> um, Masterpiece. I would say Masterpiece. This is maybe a very, um, what's the word, uh, underrated movie. Uh, I would say because maybe it's not made by bigger companies or bigger names. I would say maybe some people overlooked it. Um, and it could be that I overlooked it and, and people didn't overlook it and I'm just being stupid. But uh, I think it, it was kind of overlooked because each time I see someone talk about movies, they don't really mention this one. Uh, but this one is beautiful. It is one that I recommend. And you can watch it online. You can watch it through Netflix. So go check it out. Out of 10, I'm going to put this one probably at a... 8 out of 10. I think it's a beautiful movie. I wish the ending would have been a little bit different, and I wish it would have been a little bit longer. Um, but I can see maybe the budget being stretched, especially with the amount of animation they were putting in some scenes. They they didn't they didn't cheap out anywhere, guys. I mean, even the water looked so good. The rain looked so real. It was beautiful. It's, it's, it's one of these movies that... It, one of the things that you take away from it is just the animation. Like you would think, why don't they do this in anime? But you know, it's just expensive and it takes a long time to do it. So that's probably why. Uh, anyways, eight. Yeah, that's my rating. Thank you guys for much for watching this. Make sure you check out my channel if you haven't. Uh, subscribe, comment, like, and share. I will be reviewing another movie um, next week, and it's also a cute movie, but also pretty sad. So. Uh, make sure you subscribe to don't so you won't miss it on the next Thursday. Thank you again for your love and support. Uh, again, go check out my Discord. Check out the link for uh, anime and manga for a cheap price. And guys, like always, don't be strangers. See you guys.